Hey creators, today I'm walking you through a Conclear workflow that uses three different methods to do head swaps with Flux context. I'm sure at least one of these will work for you. Let's kick things off with some results so you can see what we are working with. First, remember this face. We're gonna swap it onto this woman holding a dog and here's what the final composition looks like. Check out the first method's output. Here's the second one. And this is the third. Let's look at one more example. I've covered many face swap workflows in past videos, but half swaps way harder. Luckily, Flux Context makes it possible. Let's break down how this works. I manually painted the head areas in the load image nodes. Precision is key here, so do it by hand is best. These two nodes keep the uploaded image and mask at the same aspect ratio while limiting the longest side to 1344. This node crops the head area. This is the part we are swap onto the body in this image. Now that we have both the head and body, we need to tell Flux Context exactly where to put the head. In the next group, we use the Fast Canvas node to place the head onto the body. If you are new to Fast Canvas, check out my last video. There are two layout options, and we'll use each for different head swap methods. Let me show you. Okay, let's look at the differences between the three methods. The first method is the simplest. Core node here is reference latent, which outputs conditioning to guide the case sampler node. It takes two inputs, run from a latent image encoded from group 4. That's this one. But that's not enough. Flux context need to know what to do with it. So reference latent also takes conditioning from a prompt as set in the first group. The prompt's crucial, it has two parts. First, you tell Flux context what action to take. I said fill the gray area, but you could also say remove the gray area. Let's jump to group 4 to see that gray area. If Flux fills that, we get exactly what we want, like the group 5 output. Big tip, you have to keep the head area inside that gray area. If any here sticks out, just expand the body mask or shrink the head mask. Easy fix. The second part of the prompt describes the here color, style, so Flex Contacts knows what to feel in the gray area. Pro tip if the face doesn't match the original, Add something like keep the face unchanged to the prompt. Also, we set the mask's RGB values to 150 across the board. That's why the area around the head is gray. The second method is similar to the first, but the reference image is different. We use this one, stitched together with the image stitch node from group 4 and group 2. The problem? The reference isn't as clear as the first one, so Flux Context might get confused about where to put the head. That's why I added the Context in Painting Conditioning node. It makes sure changes stay within the mask I painted in Group 3. This node works like the Impaint Model Conditioning node for regular impainting, but it's built specifically for Flux Context. This node was created by a team from Bit9. Let's head over to the GitHub page and give them a start to show some love. 
you might have to install it manually with Git clone since it's not in Conf UI Manager yet. Go back to Conf UI. Let's compare the outputs from this group and the first. See how the hairstyles are a bit different? All right, on to the third method. The secret sauce for this group is this Laura. Let's hop on Hugging Face to check it out. First, hit the like button to support the author. Here's the original image, a square head image overlaid on a background. The trigger word is place it. Add that, and the Laura blends the head into the surroundings seamlessly. Let's jump back to Kung Fu UI. So this group uses a different image for the reference latent, the second image from group 2. That's this one. I also input the trigger word here, which tells Laura exactly what to do. Let's compare this third output to the first two. They are way different. The face angle and lighting are totally unique. The lighting and the perspective here are the most natural, but the face doesn't match the original as well as the other two. Quick tip, if the lighting on the face feels off, use LBM relighting to fix it. I covered that in a past video, link in the description. Next video, I'm dropping a code swap workflow. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.